Hello, everybody. It's Zalerla and Axeluvia. Hello. As I get to trudge through episode four, hopefully the final episode of King's Quest V. Yeah, hopefully. This has been a tough one to do because there's so much talking and no text. So I'm... I do think they fixed that in the six. I'll have to double check. Good, because then we can talk over the talking and I won't feel so bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. I... I know we probably should have played the one with text, but just like... Having this sounds kind of important. The bag is full of round, dried peas. Peas. At least for historical accuracy. Phew. This smelly fish. old fish is disgusting. Okay, anyways. Okay, you, you finished talking to Kis Princess Cosima. I'm glad you remembered her name, because I didn't. Yeah, I remember you calling her Princess... What was it, Princess Cleaning Lady? ...doesn't look or smell very appetizing. All right. Not one of our game groups. It's like, yeah, I'm playing King's Quest V, and I just met up with Princess Cleaning Lady. I'm like... So, oh, don't say that. That's... But she is Princess Cleaning Lady. That's not... Uh... Right now, she's Princess Cleaning Lady. Oh, an organ. I've never seen this in a King's Quest game before. Hmm. Two distorted figures of bird-like women flank both sides of the monstrous pipe organ. A hideous... Yet fascinating pipe organ commands attention as Graham walks through a downstairs hallway. I wish this a was in text. Yet I know. All right, well, let's see what happens. Graham watches in horrified fascination as the grotesque organ begins to magically play an eerie tune. All I can't hear what's going on. It's playing something which is probably not going to get picked up in the recording. Uh, well, the things on top moved. Little stinky things are moving now. Oh, it doesn't appear to matter. Near does that head moving. Nope, it's just following me. This is a really detailed room that possibly doesn't have... Uh-oh. Goodbye, King Graham of Daventry. <laughs> okay, so that's apparently instant death. What, walking into this room? Yes. No. No? That's random encounter. Poor Graham. More Dak showed... You probably shouldn't be playing that organ and letting people know that you're here. Why not? The organ plays itself. Well, I got one death already. Well, yeah, that a wasn't massive hard. massive dining table has been placed before a large, ornate fireplace. A massive... This appears to be the huge dining hall of the castle. This castle's creepy. Graham doesn't see anything. Graham doesn't... Graham... Okay. Stop clicking out of the screen. It keeps playing little chime sounds. Okay, there is a way down. Yeah. Well, that's why I was clicking out of the screen because I was trying. Graham to... finds himself in Mordak's immense dining hall. Graham. Let's see if there was himself... a way down. Mm hmm. Um. Um. What? What? Okay. Graham finds himself in a dirty, <laughs> dingy cell somewhere below Mordak's castle. Water dripping down strands. By the way, you might want to save. Hanging from the ceiling. I want to save, maybe. On the cell's cold you might want to. Floor. I was expecting it to any moment say, okay, now you're dead. Okay, I guess that's supposed to happen then. Yes, this this one's actually supposed to happen.
Sorry, that was bad. Give me the skeleton. I want his hand. Okay. Oh. Hello. What? Oh, Princess Cosima, where did you come from? From the labyrinth. I spend a lot of time down here, you know, with my friends. Friends? Yes. Like Dink and Sam. I don't know if you ever saw Sam or not. Anyway, I found this blue stone once that led here, to this cell. Now come on, you'd better get out of here. Okay. Am I supposed to get something in here before Above I leave? Him, Graham can see a damp, rusty grate leading to Are you? Who knows where? I have no idea. Uh No. I have no idea. Yes, you're supposed to get something before you leave. Oh, okay. She knows how to get in there, but you don't. Yep. Yay. So I have to figure out what thing to use or get or whatever. You saw a little rat going into the hole, didn't you? Or did you yeah. miss that? No, I Graham saw it. finds that his hand is too large to reach very far into the small mouse hole. So that's a mouse. Oh. Well, hopefully I could skip this. Hello. Oh, yep. Okay. This is a... Switched... Ah. Arrow. At the hammer. There we go. There. Got it. Hey, you figured that out pretty quickly. The trick in retrieving the piece of cheese from the mouse hole. This did the trick from retrieving the piece of cheese. I, I didn't know it was a piece of cheese. Oh. Oh, it's a mold covered. It's a moldy piece, piece of, cheese. of cheese. It is a moldy piece of cheese. So it's for a genie. Apparently. Possibly. Because genies like moldy stuff. Well, they did in the Hugo game. Okay, and congratulations. Now you have to figure out how the hell to get back to where you were, um, the door. Of course, if you follow her quickly enough and don't make any mistakes, she'll take you back to the door. But because perspective's fucked... It's not that bad. I completely lost... I was trying to follow her, and I actually screwed up on this. Good job, Lauren. Yeah. Oh, going through a maze is so much fun. Use my real name again. How dare you? Oh, no. People are going to know we have real names. Well, consistency would be nice. Uh, I never call you by Axie, so it would be probably better to just switch to Lauren, wouldn't it? Oh, possibly. That's going to sound strange. Zolerla and Lauren. That's it. Zolerla and Lauren. No. Princess Cosima. Did she say anything well, different? Princess Cosima. Oh, now she ignores you. The oh. Okay. So that whole thing was to get you a moldy piece of cheese. You have a lot of items, by the way, at this point in the game. You do have a few items. There's cheese! Graham! Cheese! Cheese! <laughs> I didn't even have to go to the moon for it. Nope. You go to the dungeons for it, though. Okay, random... Nope, there he is again. Hi, random thing. What the heck is that supposed to even be? Just a random monster. This is exactly the same again. Yep. And the brick got put back in. Mm-hmm. You can try using the brick. The stone can't be budged anymore. So, am I dead now? I don't remember if she only saves you once. So I apparently have to do something to the blue thing before it puts me in there. Yes. Which is probably give it the moldy cheese. Why would you think that? Because otherwise, 
why would it take you in there in the first place? Because you need the moldy cheese for something? I suppose. Is it the moldy cheese? No, that would make too much sense. So in other words, if you did the correct thing the first time, you'd be screwed and wouldn't get an item you need. Yes. Okay. Let's try the fish. That won't help Graham against this huge beast. Maybe it's the peas. What? Yep. Use the peas like like if they were marbles. A large beast lies stunned on the floor. That only works if they're frozen. Graham wants no part of this beast. Apparently the thing is a klutz. So, ridiculous slapstick again. Yep. <sighs> Saving every couple of steps, because... Yay. Hey, on the plus side, you had some random encounters in the correct order. Graham gaped at an so you haven't had the second random encounter yet. Like, yet Why is there a like fire food? hydrant on it? I think it's supposed to be a vase. Or an urn. Graham looks in astonishment around this strange foyer filled with an assortment of bizarre oddities. Graham looks in astonishment. The only thing it comments on is Graham the statue. Yep, yeah, okay, Graham so do you want me to give you a hint? Graham, Graham looks in your choice. Seriously, Graham looks at the strange figure. Go back in the other room. Nothing of use. Ah, uh, really? There's a cat. You. How did you get here? I have journeyed far over land and sea. It's banana. Never mind. Your journey is now over. And now you're screwed. Is that why you wanted me to come back here? To show me getting screwed? Well, yes and no. If you don't do something with Manan, you're going to be screwed no matter what. If you don't, you're supposed to do something to him? Yes. Oh, okay. So you can, wa well, come on. Just wander and show the death here. Might as well explore since I'm gonna die. This perspective makes it look a lot like the organ room. Yep. A huge monstrosity of a skull like figure. And it's pretty much Renan has run off to go tell his brother, and now you are dead in walking for a random number of rooms. Oh, goody. Mm hmm. Graham has found himself in I a large room. I remember how long it takes. Filled with many unusual contraptions and magical implements. His heart feels like bursting when he notices his beloved family imprisoned within a large glass bottle sitting upon a corner table. Tears come to Graham's eyes as he sees his beloved family and castle held captive inside a large glass bottle. Oh, fun. You have to figure out how to fix them, don't you? There he goes. Goodbye, King My brother Graham told me you were here. <laughs> now, die! <coughs> Force choke. It'd be more effective if you lifted him off the ground, Mordak. Eh, whatever. Poor Graham. Hey, kill you in front of your family this time. So you can actually go up and then down too. It's it's the bottom rooms that Manan intends I'm to I'm gonna go in. up and then down and then suddenly that blue thing's gone. Yep. Hurry. Okay, now what do you do? What do you do? Don't bother the cat with that. Graham carries a large empty bag once occupied by dried peas. Odd. What? The fact that you have two bags. Yeah. And you only use one. Well, I was on the right track. Okay. 
It wouldn't be nope. wise. Nope, give up. I'm gonna cat in a sec. You're just gonna leave it there forever. <laughs> Suddenly, I can't understand animals. Because he's probably not talking. He's probably just swearing. And now you're safe from the cat. Yay! Okay, and now you should save. So you have taken care of both the random encounters that will randomly kill you. This looks like a door. Oh, it's a, a cupboard, cabinet, wardrobe kind of thing. Apparently you can't do anything with it. Nope. Curiously, Graham look. There is no point to this room. Oh, okay. I know, right? I wonder why like, I described the statue separate from everything I else. I don't know. It's a pretty cool looking statue. It is a pretty cool looking statue. It has a fire hydrant, though. Yeah. I don't care if you call it a vase. It's a freaking fire hydrant. Could be an urn. Evil castle. Huge Evil castle. This doorway leads into Mordak's bedroom. Graham can see into Mordak's laboratory through the doorway. Okay, this is probably a bad idea. It said it was his bedroom. Goodbye, hey, look! King Graham of Daventry. It kills you. <laughs> and the game doesn't let me do anything, by the way. Hey, Nardef. This That's is a pretty busy bedroom. Yeah, it's a pretty <clears throat> crazy looking bed. Poor Graham. More Dak shows no. I'd like to have a bed where it looks like if I stood up too quick or sat up too quickly, I'd impale myself. Yeah. Nah, it's his uh, brush for his almost non-existent hair. Hmm. He could be wearing a skull cap. Tears come to Graham's eyes as he sees his beloved family and castle held captive inside a large glass bottle. Graham has found himself in a. Okay. Graham has found hot coals burn in an open pit fire. Graham has found him. Graham. There's a lot of stuff in this room, but it doesn't look like you can mess with much of any of it. Looking at his frantically waving family inside their glass prison causes Graham's heart to break as he realizes his current inability to save them from their terrible predicament. Okay. You are very quiet. I'm just wa watching what you're doing. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Taunt me. Hey, Mark. Hey, Lauren. You're missing something really obvious. Apparently I am. What am I missing really obvious? Maybe the stairs? I saw the stairs. You haven't used the stairs. And? And why haven't you used the stairs, you lazy bastard? I want to walk up some stairs. No, it's going to make me tired. You are just, like, inclined to not just wander around and fart around. I mean, at least in Karandi, I had to wander around randomly on purpose. You're just wandering around randomly for the hell of it. Graham has found himself in a large room filled with many unusual contraptions and magical implements. His heart feels... Just says the exact same thing while he's up here. Graham has found himself in an odd machine of tubes, gears, weights, and tiny figures surrounding an unusual sphere-like object attracts Graham's curiosity. Is that the exact same thing? No, that one was different. Everybody but you can hear it. Graham has no idea what Mordek does with this strange contraption. So, what do you think this is for? Good. Inside the lower portion, a foul-smelling liquid bubble while two dangling spiked gizmos hang on it a It looks like to do like a, a brain transfer or something. Platters. You're actually not too far Graham off. has no idea what Mordak... Behind Mordak's strange machine lurk other baffling and curious magical implements. <sighs> so do you want me to give me you a hint? If you want. Because You're otherwise I'm Mordak just going to mess with stuff. Gadgets don't interest Graham. Yeah, mess with stuff and make this take longer. Don't interest Graham. Well, yes. The bizarre machine. Isn't that Mordak's the point? Other gadgets hmm. don't Maybe. interest Graham. The bizarre machine looks very intimidating and confusing, which makes Graham reluctant to touch it. 
Conversely, though, it also intrigues him. It just goes on and on. I haven't seen anything locked to even use this in. You used it already. That was the key for the heart. Oh. Oh, it just didn't get rid of it. Nope. The bizarre machine looks very intimidating. The bizarre machine. You know, it said there were levers. Where are these levers? Try cl clicking on the little platform next to you, the little ones with the orange glow on them. Baffling and Graham has no idea what more deck. The bizarre machine. The bizarre. Maybe you the could bizarre... put something on those. The bizarre... Yes, but I'm trying to figure out how to activate it. Oh, you might, you know, you might have to just stick something on there before it'll do it. Okay, let's see what happens. use the crystal. This may be... Oh, wait, yeah, you do use items multiple times in this one. Uh-huh. Nope, well, that's the wrong side, duh. Well, good thing he knows what he's doing. Okay. Do you want me to give you a hint? Graham hesitates. This may be the wrong thing to do. Mark. Graham. What? Do you want me to give you a hint? No, I'm going to mess with it for a bit. I know, it's like cheesy. <sighs> Graham tosses the moldy cheese into the machine's bubbling liquid. Why? Why did why did he toss the moldy, che moldy cheese into it? Because okay, that's, that's apparently... how you activate it. It okay. activates with moldy cheese. And Why would I expect that? And now you're dead man walking. I just saved, so it's not like it's a big deal. Well, hey, at least you know how to activate it now. And guess what it's doing? Remember how you said you, you thought it was a brain transfer machine? I'm guessing it's a magic transfer thing. Yeah. That's how you get the wand charged. Yep. The machine put on quite a show, but didn't. But it doesn't take normal anything. magic stuff. You have to get another magic wand. What's going on here? Oh, good. That kills you, anyways. I'll take care of you. You. Oh, suddenly a new wine. graphic. Oh, this thing. That wasn't a very smart move for Graham to make. Okay. Yes, don't do that. So, what did he use on you? A wand. When I went in his room, he just instant killed me. Well, maybe you should go back. The amulet glows softly with a power of its own. I don't think the amulet helps you here. No, it does not. Why are you going so slow? You don't need to go so slow, Graham. You were the one that was saying he was going to be tired from going up those stairs. Are you saying that it's totally random whether he's in his room or not? Yes! Oh, God. Oh, this is going to be fun. It, it, A strange statue you might want to save. Winged... Makes you wonder where the hell is he then? He's around. He's around. Not freeing his brother from the bag, apparently. Nope. Well, just like a blue thing, the bag disappeared. Graham looks out the window and views the distorted rocks and twisted forms of more. By the way, it doesn't show it. You can go south from here. Mordak's bedroom. A large grotesque bed occupies one corner. So it's like the dining the room. Of lying mm -hmm. on Okay. Oh, good lord. No, worry, there's only one important thing to click on in here. Open up on a corner desk attracts Graham's curiosity. A large. I'm getting watched by an eyeball. Yep. Hmm. This looks interesting. Graham wonders what the symbols mean. Oh, 
Okay, do you remember those? You have to memorize the so stupid symbols? No, they'll show up later, but, you know, those are kind of important. ...burned into Graham's memory, and there is no need to look at them again. Perhaps it's... they'll be of use later. It says it's burned into Graham's memory. Yep. So I don't need to memorize them. You need to know what they do. Since most of Mordak's books and scrolls are beyond uh... Graham's comprehension... Don't worry, it's pretty obvious. Kind of-ish. You only die a few times. Now By the way, you might want to save. I walked in here and used that. Okay, I'll save again. Save again, and again, and again, and again. Yeah, that's a good name for this. Since most of Mordak's books... What was one of the worst cool. parts about King's Quest III? The random encounters. None of these particular books okay, Graham. we've already had that. Which Actually, cool. that was mostly um, King's Quest 1 and 2. What was the None second worst part of King's Quest 3 then? Since most of Mordak's... The timer? Since most of Mordak's book... You mean the Since timer that Mordak's didn't have a timer and you just kind of randomly wait Since for a certain Mordak's amount of time to go by and you weren't quite sure? It didn't seem like quite an actual random amount, though. Guess what? What? Reload. Okay. Why now? Because you have to wait. Wait, okay. So you have to be in this room uh -huh. when something happens. Yes. For a positive effect. Uh huh. Because this isn't Manan's bedroom. You can see Manan's bedroom from here. So you get to sit in this library. And you've read the only book that you're interested in for a random amount of time until you can see Manana show up through the doorway. Uh, why? You mean, why do you need to do this, or why did they think this was a good idea? Why did they think this was a good idea? Hey, look, he showed up. Uh, oh. And he went immediately to sleep, because apparently he's narcoleptic. I... So you might want to save. Because that was Okay, well, I, I guess I didn't have to <laughs> say... I didn't have to wait very long. Yeah, thank God. That took me forever. Hey, look, it's on the thing right next to him. Now run the fuck away. No, don't go that way. Go the other way. Hey, you got his wand. I didn't want to walk right next to him in case he had a trigger point or oh, something. Oh, yeah, good point. So what do you do with the wand? You transfer it to the other wand. You transfer it to the other wand. Oh, and by the way, you're going to want to save right before you do that because that's going to be a long fucking cutscene and you're going to die a lot. Possibly. Mm. So I would save right here. You know, this is almost all you playing. I'm guessing this entire place is just that bad. What do you mean? We're almost done. You have one last yes, puzzle Yes, but I meant you're just constantly saying, I'm do this and do that. How would you figure that out? The waiting thing? I don't know, because that did not look like a safe place to wait. How would you figure the cat thing out? Well, that I almost already figured out on my own. Yeah. Would you figure the blue thing out on your own? After a couple of tries, yeah. Okay, then. The waiting thing, though? Mm. Well, I didn't think you wanted to show you just doing it over and over and over again. It's all sparkly! Sparkly! Graham tosses the moldy but seriously, that's the, that's the thing about the with. castle is it's random encounter, random encounter, and random encounter, and random encounter until things happen. Oh, by the way, if you have Manhattan show up before the blue thing, which can completely happen, it happened to me like 17 goddamn times, you can't capture him because you haven't used the peas yet. Yeah, because the other bag isn't usable. Yep. Probably because it's a very small bag. Yes. But basically, if you see Manan before you use the peas on the blue thing, you are dead man walking. So if you see Manan before you get the cheese and before you use the peas on the thing, yeah, it totally screws you over. So you got really lucky getting the blue thing twice in a row. Okay. I was assuming that would be a lot longer. Yay for random! Yay for random. Now quick, grab the wand! Oh, 
Am I gonna have a moment to save? What's going nope. on here? I'll take care of you, you swine. No, you're not gonna have a moment to save. Graham, I've heard from Crispin. Hi, Cedric. Nice to see you here. How are you? Oh. What the? Cedric's what dead, have Mark. You done to my wand. What are you gonna do? You think you can outwit me, little man? Ha! Let me show you a thing or two. Oh, I do have a moment. Aha! Okay. I wasn't quite sure if you had a moment. So, what do you think about Cedric's death? It was completely random. And arbitrary? Yep. Did I mention that he was as useful as a floating brick? Okay, so, this is an interesting puzzle. What do you use against a dragon? Nope, you just get eaten. Oh, that turns you into the thing. Yes. That wasn't a very smart move. It's I a shape shifting battle. You need to figure out stuff that. Hey, I didn't know it was a shape shifting battle. I thought I was just going to turn him back into normal. Nope. So, what do you use against dragon? I don't even. This looks like invisibility. Nope. Mm. It's not invisibility. Do you want me to tell you? Oh, see what it is. Okay. It turned me into a sand shrew. You know, Sandshrew. I couldn't tell. You're Lanoon. That's how many people get that reference. Um, <laughs> I think it's the Lanoon. It's your mongoose. Good job, Graham. Okay, that was apparently a cloud. That it's rain. Oh, I couldn't tell what it was. It's water. I thought it was poison. It's water. I thought, see how it has the drips? Yeah, I thought it was supposed to be poison. It's a rain cloud. There. Rah, tiger. Why, you little... You can talk like normal while you're a big bug thing? It's a big... Yeah, bug drip. That thing does look kind of cool, though. Scorpion... Scorpion Is this an arbitrary wiper. arcade sequence? No, it's a shape-shifting battle. Quick, do something else. Sure, whatever. You rain on the dragon. Oh, you're raining on yourself. That wasn't a nope. Very smart move, <laughs> um, by the way, you use only one of the each of these forms only once. I was figuring that. Why, I'm just like, you no. Know. Oh, by the way, there was a bug in uh, several versions of this game that would crash whenever you try to transform into something. And it would corrupt your save. That's a pretty severe bug, because... This is the last puzzle. The game has nothing to do... This is the last puzzle. This has nothing to do with, um, saving. That wasn't a very smart move, Graham. You're not fast enough. What would be fast enough? Fast? That didn't look like a fast, that just looked like a you're dead. Well, you're, yeah, you're dead because you're not fast enough. I still don't know what it is. It's a mongoose. Oh, okay. Why, you little... I have no That's idea. That's why I said Lanoon. I think Lanoon's based on mongooses. Maybe they're based on ferrets. Ferrets yeah, are I, th I, I think, think there's one that's on based ferrets. on... I think there's one... Oh, um, right, the Zangoose. Yeah. Zangoose is mongoose. I'm an idiot. I should have known that. You already did that one. Bunny! Because that totally will work against dragon. Why did you just step on me? Because Mordek or, or lie down on me. You because Mordek is don't. weird and well, I've got you needs now. to do things correctly. He follows the rules of shapeshifter duels. You've got me now, and it's just pause and pause and pause. This is, must be what the mongoose is for. You think? Say goodbye, swine.
Suddenly I'm very fast. Yeah, but you weren't fast enough to do dodge fire. You're just fast enough to no, deal with a snake. But you weren't fast like enough as a rabbit. Way. You were fast enough to dodge fire, but not deal with a snake. Yes. Gee, I wonder what you use for that this That doesn't one. make any sense. I never said it made sense. Congratulations, you solved the last puzzle. Now it's outro. From here on out. Did I just extinguish the wizard? Yes, you just killed the wizard. He turned himself into fire. Yes. What an idiot. Yes. Warning. This cartoon contains material <laughs> that may be... Really? This, is the out this is the outro. There are no... There's no more game. There is no more game. But it's essential to the plot, so you might not want to skip it. Now why won't you work? Really? He just throws it down in disgust, breaking something else. Yep. Oh, Princess Cosima. Well, I did it. Mordak is dead. Dead? Are you sure? Maybe he's only trying to trick you. He's dead, all right. He turned himself into a fire, and I put him out with rainwater. He'll never bother anyone else ever again. But that sounds so stupid. What? He turned my himself family. into fire, and I put him out with rainwater. He was a moron. I don't know how he became a wizard in the first place. Crispin, I have the solution to all your problems, Graham. Oh, it's, so it's Deus Ex Majest. Yep. Just out of nowhere. Mage. Deus Ex Magica. Why does she have eyeshadow? Asking around, and I, I found out that your I son, don't know. Alexander, had the dubious distinction. I don't think any of the other pictures of Grammy had a five o'clock shadow either. Mananan into a cat some time back. Obviously, this deed angered Mordak, who could do nothing about it. Since this particular blinking. spell could only be undone by the actual. Oh, well, well, she she your blinked son. a couple of times, it but stopped. It doesn't take a great genius to figure out that Mordak took your family and castle in revenge to try to persuade Alexander to restore the land back to his old self. I did discover, as now I see, that your castle. Why couldn't he explain all this after fixing things? A glass bottle. I did some research and blah, found blah, blah. the spell for turning everything right, I should back to this. normal. Now watch. Hocus, hocus, alliocus. Really? It really needed to have him say hocus pocus. Now bring the castle out, Squish. My children, my joy knows no limit. I don't worry, he gets that that eventually. He has the most pissed off tone, tone of voice. I don't know if they already did that, but in a bit. It's like, Alexander, this is all your fault. How dare you? Oh, Princess Cosima, how could I forget you? Come over here. She has blue hair. All of a sudden. And now Let it's me introduce obviously dark. My family. This is my wife, Queen Valenie, my daughter, Princess Rosella, and my son, Prince Alexander, who started the whole Good God, Graham's beefy in this. All of you, this is Princess Cosima from the land of the Green Isle. Without her, none of us would be standing here now. She bravely saved my life. Has he blamed Alexander for everything yet? Not yet. Okay. I am deeply in your debt, and I will make it up to you. With your wow. I'd like what an awful voice. Green Isles to see you. I remember him having a better voice in 6. It's almost text-to-speak bad. Text-to-speech. All right, now that we've done with all the formalities, let's get on with business, shall we? Nobody's mentioned um, Cedric, by the way. Nope. Nobody gives a shit that Cedric's dead. Piggly piggly poo. Yep. Be assured that your castle is right back where it belongs. And the right size, too. But now it's time that everyone return to their homes. 
where at some point in the game he meant he's like Alexander, who's this, you know, <laughs> who's the one that turned an into a cat? It's like, what about Alexander? Alexander, this is all your fault. How dare you try to rescue yourself? Where is Cedric? Over there. Mordak may have killed him. <laughs> Is there anything Graham you know mentions Cedric. Cedric. Oh, hey, forgot about your dead owl over there. Oh, yeah. I didn't forget ah, about it. Yes, I think I know. Abra? Abra Kabara? No, uh. <sighs> Abra Kadora? They tried to make, like, Cedric an, a Disney sidekick word. character, and even with the, oh my goodness, he's dead oh, kind yes. of death. And you saved Graham's life. I'm like, he could have been in a flying brick. Oh, Ritsu. Cedric, it sure is good to see you again. Oh, likewise, I'm sure. All right, enough is enough. Let's they really on. didn't want to animate him. No. Okay, Kasima, let's send you home first. Wasn't that the land of the green eyes? They didn't want to animate much. Yes, that's right. Well, they did spend a lot of time on these backgrounds. Yeah, they did. Ooh, her one pixel animation. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if that's gonna go through the video properly. I have no idea. Oh, yeah, no, Alexander's one pixel animation. No, his her his his head turned a little. Oh yeah. Send us all home, Crispin. I just want to thank. There's one pixel again. Yep. And you too, Cedric. I wouldn't be standing here with my family. Having everybody zoomed out so much. I'm deeply. I know. It's just, well, you can tell who's who, which is decent. Work, my boy. All in the day's work, right, Cedric? Right, Crispin. Okay, back home you go. Alakazee. Yeah, for Joe's and Alakazee and Hick Wander. Alakazee! Most generic magic phrase spells I've ever seen. You know, just putting the castle back wouldn't mean, like, the foundations well, and shit had been really you. fucked up. Our happy home. And we're or, you know, like, somebody was wandering there wondering what the, the hell happened to the castle because Cream Graham disappeared yes. too. It's so, like, I wonder what happened to the castle? Oh my god, it's just empty. And all of a sudden the castle lands on top of them. So they have, like, peasants in their mortar. Oh, I missed two points. You did miss two points. Okay. So, what did you think of King's Quest V? It was really obnoxious. <laughs> and had several things that I wouldn't have guessed. Waiting in his library was not something I would have guessed. Nor would I have guessed to go back in there. Nope. Well, I mean, I you, guess you... after a, quite a while of frustration, it's like, okay, maybe I do have to try to sneak it in. Wait a minute, he's not here. Yep. Yep. But then the having to wait in the library... I... Hmm. Or the thing with the emeralds? That was freaking stupid. <laughs> the whole honey and emerald thing. Yep. So, out of the five you've played so far, which would you say your favorite is? Uh... I do have to say the graphics and music are way improved in this one. As far as gameplay goes, so far three. It at least was, other than the goddamn spider part, was the most logical. Four and five had things in them that it felt like they were trying to fish for people to call their hotline. Yeah, that's true. I hate that. Yeah. I think it's not nearly as bad as six. Well, we'll see when we get there. Six is my favorite. Okay. I do like seven. So, are you ready for... And by the way, there's music nobody else is hearing, but that's huh. okay. Oh, Roberta Williams did a voice. Woman in town, who? Oh, and one of the harpies. Roberta Williams admitting she's a harpy. Hmm. Anyways, um, so next time we're going to do... One of the harpies do... is Josh. Josh Mackle something or other? Okay, sure. It's easy to do a harpy voice, though, my dear. Yeah. Oh, the rat was Roberta Williams, too. Okay, so she's a harpy and a rat. Okay, then. Anyways, so the next time we're going to be doing Legend of Crandia 2. <laughs> and I will be providing maps if necessary. I don't know yet, right now. We're also going to be skipping a lot of stuff when it gets boring. Yes. So, yay. There's that to look forward to. 
So we we won't have to do those goddamn fire maze again. Fire berries. Uh, freaking fire berries. Okay, goodbye everybody. Bye.